Introduction to Sustainability, Approaches and Strategies. Hi, I'm Jan Rosenzweig, the chairperson at the IEEE Standards Artificial Intelligence Systems Wellbeing Initiative. I'm also the founder of the Road to Sustainability, an initiative by Nevelab Technologies. The IEEE Global Artificial Intelligence Systems Wellbeing Initiative is an IEEE program whose purpose is to ensure every technologist is educated, trained, and empowered to prioritize ethical considerations in the design and development of autonomous and intelligent systems. The initiative is global, open, and inclusive, welcoming all individuals or representatives of organizations dedicated to advancing technology for humanity. To learn more how to join the Global Artificial Intelligence Systems AIS Wellbeing Initiative team, please reach out to me directly. The Road to Sustainability is a global network to build a more efficient, safe and inclusive world. Sustainability is a fundamental part of every organization's culture, investment goals and actions as a responsible business undergoing changes and being transferred between paradigm shifts. Nevel App Technologies is a purpose-driven platform that leverages artificial intelligence to provide organizations with the tools to integrate sustainable imperatives while generating actionable insights. To understand the emergence of sustainability into the mainstream in the 80s, it is important to examine the broad roots from which the concept emerged. This is confounded by the fact that much of the work whose concepts feed into the narrative predates the language of sustainability. During this session, dedicated to sustainability fundamentals, we will explore three parts, definitions, conceptualization, in practice. Sustainability is the ability to exist constantly. Sustainability, from Latin sustenir, sub from below and tenir, to hold, to keep in existence or maintain, implying long-term support and permanence. Sustainable Development The World Commission on Environment and Development defined sustainable development meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. Sustainable Systems from the Center of Sustainable Systems is a set of integrated industrial and ecological processes that equitably meets the biophysical needs of society while maintaining the integrity of life-supporting ecosystems over a long-term horizon. Sustainable business. In business, sustainability involves living within certain limits, understanding interconnections, economy, society and environment, and equitable distribution of resources and opportunities. Perhaps the best definition of sustainability as it applies to business comes from Paul Hawken from 1993. According to Hawken, sustainable businesses are defined as follows. Replace nationally and internationally produced items with products created locally and regionally. Take responsibility for the effect they have on the natural world. Do not require exotic sources of capital in order to develop and grow. Engage in production processes that are human, worthy, dignified and intrinsically satisfying. Create objects of durability and long-term utility whose ultimate use or disposition will not be harmful to future generations. Change consumers to customers. In 2005, the World Summit on Social Development identified three dimensions for sustainable development goals, environmental, economic and social. On the left, we have the typical representation of sustainability as three intersecting cycles. In the center, we have a concentric cycles approach. On the right, alternative depiction, the literal pillars. Sustainable approaches to innovation. Sustainability may be defined as a potential that lies in all individuals and organizations. We may say that people and organizations are sustainable when they use all their qualities in interaction with their environment, like market, culture and nature, when they understand all sides of the various communities they are part of. Sustainable practice demands that everyone relates actively to resource management and understands and feels responsible for the mutual dependency between people and culture. Three perspectives for innovation efforts. Corporate will that will include sustainability in the strategic plan, strategic competencies, assets, resources and technologies to involve in all along the process towards the sustainable goals. Marketplace opportunities, emerging trends and unmet needs, especially evolving within the ecosystem. To attain sustainability 
functionality, the requirements are to get no negative effects on resources, inputs, conditions in the environment we are evolving in and other values. Weak sustainability requires only that total capital should not be depleted. This view assumes substitutability between human-created capital and natural capital. According to this theory, fish farms might be considered as a substitute for wild fish. A water filtration plant may be viewed as a substitute for a healthy river system. Weak sustainability is a more human-centric view of sustainability and assumes that as long as resources as required by humans have not been depleted, that we are living sustainably. Strong sustainability requires that natural capital not be depleted and that humans live off the interest of natural capital. In other words, strong sustainability requires that humans only use resources as quickly as the Earth can naturally replace them. This approach recognizes that natural resources and ecosystems serve functions beyond acting as mere productive inputs. Therefore, humans should never draw down or reduce the amount of natural capital. A sustainable activity maintains the factors that enable the activity itself. In population ecology, it pertains to a resource harvesting model, assuming equilibrium, time invariance, and absence of other determining factors. In agriculture, business and development, it pertains to all possible factors determining the endurance of the activity. Maintaining all economical, social, cultural, environmental, and ecological conditions, even if these factors are not directly affecting the activity. The critical cores are climate change and biodiversity, agriculture and food security, financial stability, healthcare, Medicare, peace and security. The major areas that can be implemented in the process are leadership assessment, strategic planning, interdisciplinary teams, specific knowledge, extended standards, diversity and inclusion plan, resilience index. Why now? We are in a state of emergency. As we speak, many corporations are committing millions to relief efforts for people impacted by the global crisis. Many are currently battling at the forefront of the pandemic to serve the most vulnerable population, using their ingenuity to confront the ground's issues. It includes responses to the immediate needs of those most affected by addressing the financial hardship and social dislocation that this crisis will bring as families grapple with job disruptions, school closures, and unexpected parental childcare and medical costs. The urgent need is to initiate the collaborative journey, influence the sustainability execution plan, address leadership assessment, create movement capacity building. On their side, corporations can support emerging initiatives, help NGOs, social enterprises, provide with the tools and the services, municipalities, institutions, use their distribution channels. How we do this? The organizational dynamics, internal philosophies, social practices, daily rituals, and cultural needs are yet to be redefined. Practice processes and preparation for the unexpected invite multidisciplinary teams to reassess the probability of the unlikely events in sight that every decision made today will inevitably wait on the future. It is now likely that preparation for the next crisis or the next phase of the current one will be much more effective than an ahead of reactive reaction when the crisis actually strikes. From our various explorations and findings, we conclude insights are highlighting the role of sustainability as a long-term strategy under complex conditions and efforts to make substantial investments and contributions. This is how we created this perspective. You can find many other views. You can see that when a disruption cures the system, fails. Yet, by integrating alternative approaches, we can reach the initial goals. Implementing high-performing recovery plans include to take into account endangered environments and social risks, market turbulences and economic uncertainty impacting the core value of the organization, whereas a well-driven recovery plan and well-being resources can leverage purpose-driven ecosystems and build resilience towards a sustainable business. Every effort an organization will accomplish during a downturn will build a memorable experience and count as a strong asset in the recovery process. Whether it was about rethinking, repairing and reconfiguring, all will be amplified as a resilient constituent. Closing the loop makes stakeholders, partners and customers feel as if they are part of an extended quality control team. Effective ways include contributing to the SDGs, creating employment and opportunities and developing sustainable communities. Building a sustainable enterprise is not an easy task. 
task and corporates are also concerned. There should be an increased demand for prescriptive analytics when there is an increased emphasis on cascading and efficiency. Optimization will be applied to everything from production to logistics to human resource management and analytically mature organizations should see an increase in demand for data science services. We can now see how the traditional enterprise is a constraint to itself with its centralized system adopted too long ago. Today, one of the most critical imperatives is to raise awareness that allows the enterprise to evolve and create growth. By integrating distributed systems, as we see here, with a focus on the core, I call it the enterprise DNA, including diverse community programs leading to more engagement, science, research and development, we can conceive innovation centers, keeping the enterprise DNA at its core and monitoring the market and exploring more. Yet too many businesses are not social impact ready, not resilient, they don't have the diverse and inclusive workforce to lead them when downturns occur. Enterprises urgently need more innovation processes and acceleration programs to support progress based on open source, which became one of our era's most significant challenges to produce efficiently and defend sustainable growth. Economic growth has raised living standards around the world. However, modern economies have lost sight of the fact that the traditional index of economic development, the gross domestic product GDP, actually estimates the scale of a country's economy and does not represent that country's well-being. Yet, politicians and economists often consider GDP as an all-encompassing unit to represent a country's growth, mixing economic stability and social well-being. As a result, policies that promote most economic prosperity are seen as positive for society, but the measure created to assess the wartime production capabilities of a nation has obvious drawbacks in peacetime. The ultimate goal is to create more just and equitable societies, economically thrilling, and providing people with a meaningful quality of life. The Wellbeing Economy Alliance is suggesting the following framework. Policy is framed in terms of human and ecological well-being, not simply economic growth. Businesses provide dignified lives for their employees and exist to meet social needs and contribute to the regeneration of nature. The rules of the economy are shaped by collaboration between government, business and civil society. Sustainability and well-being impact assessment. We can find many explanations for the failure of organizations to implement sustainability in the current context. Actually, on a pure structural side, we've inherited from traditional institutions and regulatory decisions and other legal institutions have initially produced and incentivized unsustainable and environmentally unsustainable practices over sustainable ones. On the more philosophical side, sustainability requires a radical review of individuals' responsibility. Like biodiversity, sustainability became more of a political issue than a scientifically supported concept. To some extent, this may be because once scientific analysis are applied to sustainability, they turn out to be ambiguous and some of the main controversies of sustainability that emerge seem to be especially systematically driven as an organizational hierarchy. The problem with such an approach is that sustainability may be interpreted as extending a particular stage in the organizational system life pattern. Within the framework of cycle-driven systems, this adoption may prevent productivity and growth but emphasize the given system's stability. This is why we need economic growth, cultural continuity, environmental quality, social equity. To initiate the process toward sustainability, the core of the well-being impact assessment, the WIA, might have some answers. The continuous and sustainable physical, mental and social flourishing of individuals, communities and populations where their economic needs are cared for within a thriving ecological environment. The accumulation of unsustainable processes in a particular ecosystem may destroy the whole ecosystem. Thank you.